This video will show you how to install a hinged insect screen on Anderson 400 series Frenchwood hinged patio doors. You'll need safety glasses, a utility knife or putty knife, a Phillips screwdriver, 1 8 inch and 3 16 inch drill bits, a nail set or punch, rubber mallet, and a drill or driver, as well as a hinged door insect screen and the included parts that are listed in the installation guide, available from your Anderson dealer or parts.andersonwindows.com. Before you begin, find the installation guide that came with your hinged insect screen. Be sure to read it completely, including all of the cautions and warnings. You can also download the installation guide at andersonwindows.com. Start by identifying the bug seal strip for the door head, the bug seal strip for the door jams, and the 8th inch rivets that will be used to attach the bug seal strips to the door frame. To allow for proper screen installation, you may need to remove any excess sealant from the upper corners of the door frame using a utility knife or putty knife. Next, position the top bug seal strip and use it as a template to drill a 1 8 inch hole 1 quarter inch deep near the center. Then, insert the first rivet and set it by driving the rivet pin flush with the surface of the rivet head. Setting the first rivet will prevent misalignment. Drill and insert one rivet at a time. Also, do not drive the rivet pin below the rivet head surface. Drill and set the remaining holes in the top of the bug seal strip. Then position the side bug seal strips while keeping tight mitered corners. Follow the same procedure to attach the side bug seal strips, starting at the top hole. Next, select the direction that the insect screen door will open. For single doors, the door will have a left or right hand swing. And for double doors, there will be active and passive panels. The active panel should be positioned over the door panel that includes the lock. Place the insect screen door on a clean and flat work surface and align the upper hinge leaf's holes with the holes in the insect screen door. Then attach all the upper hinge leaves to the insect screen door using the number eight by one half inch screws that were provided. Next, position the lower hinge leaf of the top hinge assembly using the hinge placement template that came with your insect screen. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill two holes one quarter inch deep using the lower hinge leaf as a template and attach the lower hinge leaf to the door frame using 3 16 inch rivets. Next, insert the rivet and set by driving the rivet pin flush with the surface of the rivet head. Use caution and do not drive the rivet pin below the rivet head surface. This may result in product or property damage. Position the insect screen door to the door frame with the spline facing outward as shown. Then, align the upper hinge leaf with the lower hinge leaf and insert a hinge pin to hang the screen door from the top hinge assembly. Position the bottom hinge as shown. Then place the bottom hinge assembly into the door frame using it as a template to drill two 3 16 inch holes one quarter inch deep. Attach the lower hinge leaf to the door frame using 3 16 inch rivets. Insert the rivet and set by driving the rivet pin flush with the surface of the rivet head. If you are installing double insect screen doors, use this process to install both screen doors. Once both doors have been installed, identify the passive insect screen opposite the door panel with the lock. Remove the passive insect screen panel from the frame. Then place the astrical tight to the passive insect screen. It should be flush with the bottom of the insect screen. Then drill 1 8 inch holes through the interior wall only, using the slots located on the astrical as a guide. 
Drill the holes tight to the edge of the slot nearest the flexible weather strip and repeat for all of the slotted holes. Fasten the astrical using number 8 by 1 half inch screws. Do not fully tighten the screws. Next, reinstall the passive insect screen panel and close the insect screen panels. Adjust the astrical to achieve an equal space between the astrical and insect screen. Then, tighten the screws holding the astrical when the adjustment is correct. Check the position of the strike. It should be located in the upper position. If the strike is located in the lower position, loosen without removing the screws, relocate to upper position, and tighten the screws. Center the head clip in the door frame above the astrical and hold it tight to the outside leg. Mark, then drill two 1 8 inch holes 1 quarter inch deep using the head clip as a template. Fasten the head clip into the door frame using 1 8 inch rivets. Then set the rivet pin so it is flush with the rivet head surface using a nail set or punch. Next, loosen the adjustment screw for the top astrical bolt. Close the insect screen and engage the astrical bolt by turning the astrical knob. Slide the astrical bolt into a fully engaged position and tighten the adjustment screw. Then, repeat this procedure for the bottom astrical bolt. Snap the screw cover plate into place and lightly tap if necessary. Next, remove the protective adhesive backer from the sill seal. Center the sill seal at the top of the screen astrical and press firmly into position in order to apply. When applying the sill seal, the temperature of the units and sill must be 60 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. Insufficient adhesion may result if applied at colder temperatures. Assemble the latch set components into the pre-drilled latch holes on the door. and secure using the number six by three quarter inch bolts that were provided. Drill a one eighth inch hole one quarter inch deep using the outside handle as a guide. Use caution and do not drill through both sides of the insect screen panel. Also, do not over tighten the screws. For double doors, install the latch on the active panel. If you are installing a single door, position the latch strike plate on the door frame in proper alignment with the inside latch and operator. Apply the latch shims if needed. Position the head jam bracket in the upper inside corner of the door frame inside the bug seal strip and mark where to drill the holes. Drill three 1 8 inch holes 7 8 inch deep and attach the head jam bracket using the number 10 by 7 8 inch screws that were provided. Next, place the hold open washer on the closer assembly plunger arm and attach the closer assembly to the head jam bracket hole on the interior side using the head jam bracket bushing and the number 6 by 1 half inch head jam connecting screw. Close and latch the insect screen door. Then, attach the door bracket to the closer assembly with the door bracket connecting pin. Position the door bracket and mark the adjustment screw hole location and screw slots on the side of the slot which is opposite of the connecting pin. And drill a 1 8 inch hole 1 quarter inch deep. Attach the door bracket using a number 10 by 1 half inch screw in the adjustment slot. Adjust the closing tightness by moving the door bracket and tightening the screw in the adjustment slot. Operate the door to verify that it closes correctly. Then drill the remaining 1 8 inch hole 1 quarter inch deep and complete the door bracket attachment by fastening it using a number 10 by 1 half inch screw. Next, adjust the closing speed by tightening or loosening the actuator screw. To slow the speed, tighten the actuator screw by turning it clockwise. To increase the speed, loosen the actuator screw by turning it counterclockwise. Attach the sweep to the interior side of the insect screen door using number eight by half inch screws. 
then determine if the sweep is resting on the track correctly. If an adjustment is needed, loosen the sweep attachment screws, adjust the sweep, and tighten the screws. If you are applying double doors, use the same process to attach both sweeps. The shorter interior sweep should be attached to the passive panel. Lastly, apply the cover plates over any unused latch set holes and apply hole plugs to any unused single holes. The hole plugs are small parts and, if swallowed, could pose a choking hazard to young children. Remove and dispose of any loose or easily removed hole plugs. Congratulations, you have successfully installed a hinge insect screen on your Anderson patio door. If you need parts for your Anderson windows or doors, just go to our online parts store at parts.andersonwindows.com. And if you have questions about care, maintenance, or repair, call our customer care center at 888-888-7020. Or visit the Help Center in the service section of our website at help.andersonwindows.com. Anderson, customer care is what we care about most.